Hello, this is Chrissy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add alternative text for images when you upload them to WordPress, Squarespace, and Wix. Those are the, the top three website builders that uh, my clients work with. So I figured I'd show you how to do all three. So whichever one you're using, you can watch this video. Now, when you're adding an image to WordPress, which is my personal favorite website builder, you're going to upload the image. So I'm going to add an image block to do this. I, I use the block editor and not the classic editor, but this will work either way. But uh, I'm going to go to the media library when I do this. It's really important to go to the media library and don't just upload the image. You, you do want to go to the media library when you do this. And it's for a very important reason. So let's just go to upload files. And then I'm going to select my file, which is going to be the picture that you just saw, but I'm just going to upload another copy of it so you can see this. And before I add the image, I am going to add some alt text. The alt text is required in certain situations. And they actually have a link here in WordPress that will give you those situations. So if you were to click on that link, it's going to give you a decision tree to decide if the alt attribute needs to be added uh, or if it, if it needs to be empty. So you can see here, does the image contain text? No. Continue on to the next decision. If it does, and the text is also present as real text nearby, use an empty alt attribute. Or, and the text is only shown for visual effects, use an empty alt attribute. So, and, and you can see here, if the text has a specific function, for example, it's an icon, then use the alt to uh, attribute the, to communicate, use the alt attribute to communicate the function of the image. Uh, and then, and the text in the image is not present otherwise, use the alt attribute to include the text of the image. So if you have an image with text in it, the text isn't otherwise displayed on the page, then the alt text should say what the picture says. And then you can see it continues on. So if the image is used in a link or a button, then you want to use the alt attribute to communicate the destination of the link or the action to be taken. Does the image contribute meaning to the current page or context? In the case of the image that I'm uploading right now, it's a photograph of the person that the blog post is about. So it does convey some meaning. So you do want to give a brief description of the image in a way that conveys the meaning in the alt attribute. So you can see informative images and it's got some examples. Uh, so images conveying succinct information. Um, this is with instructions. So different examples here. Uh, this one, the alternative text is we're family friendly. So you want it to describe the purpose of the image or the content of the image. So whatever, whatever you're trying to convey in the meaning of the of the page and within the context of the page that you're inserting it into. So I'm going to insert this image. Oops, let me select that. And so the text for this one is Chrissy Ray. And I could leave it at that. That's that's all I really need to do. Uh, notice I didn't say picture of Chrissy Ray or image of, of Chrissy Ray. It, that's already implied because it's being inserted as an image. So I don't need to say that. So I just need to say what's in the picture or what meaning it conveys. If you wanted to get a little bit more descriptive, you could. So you could say Chrissy Ray wearing a red blouse or a red flowery blouse or red flowery blouse sitting on a beige chair. What You don't want to give too much detail, but you do want to give whatever detail is required to convey the meaning of the picture. So this is fine. Chrissy Ray wearing a red blouse. So we'll click on select and you can see that it says in the block setting the block property for that image. It says Chrissy Ray wearing a red blouse. Now, if I was to change this text here, it doesn't change it in the library. So if I was to change this to just say Chrissy Ray and then update that and then go into my media library, you can see it still says Chrissy Ray wearing a red blouse. So it doesn't change that. There are plugins that you can use to update the alternative text, but this site doesn't have it. So you don't need that. Now, as far as how that page or how that post or content is displayed, uh, how that image is displayed, this is the image. If I was to inspect it, then I can see here in my HTML. Don't worry if you don't know too much HTML, um, but I just want to show you right here that it says alt. The alt attribute is an attribute of the image tag and the alt attribute is equal to Chrissy Ray. So that way, if somebody is using the screen reader, they're going to be presented with this image 
and the screen reader is going to say that it's Chrissy Ray. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now, if we go into another website builder like Squarespace, this is where it can get a little complicated. And, and that's not to say it can't get complicated in WordPress, but in a lot of cases in Squarespace, at least in the templates that I've used in Squarespace, you can see I've got this, this image here, uh, but it's not really an image. I mean, it is an image, but it's not being inserted as an image. It's actually being inserted as a div tag, which is another HTML tag. And the div tag has a background that is this image. So the problem with that is that if you add a div tag, the div tag doesn't have alternative text. So if this image has uh, some meaning, if it conveys meaning, if it's got text in it or something like that, I am not able to add alternative text to this image. That gets really tricky. That's, that's gonna make this website far less accessible than it needs to be. So you really have to be careful. When you're working with Squarespace, if you wanted to add an image that does convey some meaning, then you need to make sure that it doesn't get added as a section which is what this one is added as. So you can see if I want to edit this section, the background is the image. And I don't have a way to change. Like if I go to edit the image, it doesn't let me change the alternative text. You can see there's no alt text or anything like that. And there's no other settings that lets me change that, unfortunately. But that doesn't mean you can't add an image with alternative text. You just need to add it as a gallery. So you can see here, this is an image that I added, and, and actually I'll remove that and show you how to do this. So let's say that I wanted to add an image. So I'm gonna add a section. And over here on the left side, I'm gonna choose images. And I'm gonna choose the one that looks like it's just one big image that goes all the way across. So it looks kind of like I had with the, the other image with the bed. But if I go to edit the gallery here, you can see that I can edit each individual image. If I only wanted to use one image, I could just delete the other images. So if I really just wanted to show that one image, just like the other one did, then you can see here I can have just that one image. And then I would add a description. So again, if it conveys meaning, you wanna put in whatever that meaning is. In this case, we're gonna say snow covered mountains, plenty of, context there. So we'll click on close and I'm going to save it and I'm going to try to view it. Sometimes this gets a little tricky with Squarespace. It doesn't like me to view my, uh, my source here. All right, let me view this. All right. So I'm going to go down here, right click and choose inspect. Sometimes this gets a little twitchy. So bear with me here. Um, okay, yeah, it's it's doing the, the twitchiness here, but I can get this. Hold on one second. So if I want to see what the alternative text is for this image, sometimes it takes a little clicking around to do this. Come on. There we go. All right, so I inspected it. And if we look over here, there is my alt text, snow covered mountains. Now, if I was to do the same thing for this image, if I was to inspect that image there, you can see that that image is a div tag. So, and it's got styles and the style is probably going to have the image in it, but it doesn't have any alternative text there. So this, this image, if it conveys meaning, is not doing so accessibly, which is a, which is a big problem. So keep that in mind. Now, if you're doing uh, Wix, if you're using Wix for your website, you can add images there as well. Let me go back to editing this image. So let me delete this one. If you were to add an image, so I'm gonna click on this plus here and add an image. And I've already uploaded the, the image that I was working with. So I'm gonna select that. Uh, you don't do it here. You just click on add to page. And then after you add the image right here where you've got this little gear icon for the settings, you're gonna add the alternative text there. So I'll click on settings and then add my alt text. So this is gonna say Chrissy Ray. I'm gonna click on save and let me preview this. So now if I was to right click on this and choose inspect, 
And this is, if, if you're ever curious about the HTML, you've just, this is Chrome. You can inspect the HTML and you can see here, uh, oh, this is, I, I was doing this earlier. It, it, it has an old preview of it, but uh, Chrissy Rett, I misspelled it, wearing a red flurry blouse and sitting on a beige chair. Um, so that that's, it's it's cached. It's It's got a copy of the old version of this page in there. That's why it's showing that. But so it does, it does add that alternative text there. And if you were to go into your site, so if I go into the site and I go to edit my site, let me go to the website, edit the site. This takes a minute to load here, but it's the same process. So you can see once it loads, bear with me. Okay, so if I was to add an image, so you can see there is an image that I've already added. And you can see the settings right there. Uh, there is the alt text right there. It's added slightly differently, but it's still going to be done with within those settings. So you would add the alt text. It doesn't save the alt text from one to the other. It's not saved to the library. You have to add that alt text each time you add the image to the page. So I would say Chrissy Ray and close my settings and there we go. So again, you need to add these alt, this alt text to each of the images that you add to your website as you want to add, well, as long as the image has some kind of meaning behind it, if it needs to convey some meaning or it's got text in it that needs to be included, if it needs to be readable, then you do need to add that alternative text to convey the meaning to any users that can't see those images. So make sure, web, make sure your websites are as accessible as possible and add that alternative text. Thanks for watching.